What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today this video is going to transport you into full-on serenity, bliss, zen, any of those above. <laughs> As we all know, this is a stressful time of year for a lot of people. It's the transition from fall to winter. It's a big time for school, a lot of college applications if you're a senior, exams are coming up, um, you know, all these crazy you know, great things, but also that can really mentally and physically wear you down. Um, if you guys have watched some of my past videos, I've had a crazy past two months or so. Super busy with college applications and extracurricular activities and being involved with my school's play. Just a lot of things that got me really stressed to a point that I've never been before. So I had to really implement some you know, routines and techniques to kind of reduce my stress levels and kind of bring myself back to center and back to a more calm state that I usually am able to do pretty well, but it was pretty difficult for me. So I did a couple things and I wanted to share them with you guys, just some tips on how to deal with stress and to just keep calm during these crazy times of the year. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So my first tip is to allow the weekends to be your rejuvenation time. I know a lot of people that kind of use the weekends to like do a ton of work and get a lot of work done, wake up on a Saturday morning, like, you know, just go and work, work, work. I, I can't do that. I, throughout my four years of high school, I, on Saturdays I've been doing college apps, but I refuse to do any sort of schoolwork on Saturday. That might sound bad, however, I don't think of it as a bad way. Saturdays for me, I take the time for myself, for my personal well-being, not to like go like hang out with friends. I mean, yeah, sometimes I want to be with friends and it makes me feel good. But Saturday mornings, I like to sleep in, I like to do my own thing, I like to film my videos or do things that make me happy, go to a dance class, go work out, something that feels good to me. For me, the whole weekend really should, you know, be a time for relaxation, a time to kind of rejuvenate yourself before you go back to work or back to school on that Monday. Um, so I'm not saying like don't do anything over the weekend because I know I'll have like tests on a Monday that I have to study for on the weekend. I'm not saying I don't do anything. Sundays are usually my day that I do a lot of studying on. But if you can help it and you can get more work done during the school week or the work week, I really recommend it because then the weekend is just like a little mini vacation and it feels so good to just treat yourself and feel like, okay, I've had a long week, like now let me just relax. My second tip is to write everything down. And you might be like, uh, I don't wanna write everything down, that's gonna like stress me out. For me, I my mind is always thinking, obviously, but like I'm an overthinker, I'm always thinking about what can I do next, like what's gonna happen, like oh my gosh, I have all these things to do, oh I have that too, I have that. Instead of letting your mind wander, instead of letting your mind stress, take a piece of paper, go on your phone, write down all these things that are coming to your head. The, the second it comes to your head, write it down. Okay, I need to do that. So you can kind of be comforted in the fact that those things are somewhere and that you know that when you look at that list, you'll see what you need to do. So I'll feel better because I can focus on one thing and know, okay, when I'm done with that thing, I'll go back to the list and see what else I have to do. Everything's on that piece of paper. It's not all scrambled. It's not like I'm not sure what I'm doing. I have everything written down and this way you're not forgetting anything. And then something last minute, you have a test and you're like, oh, I forgot to write that down. Just write it all down at first. This is one of my biggest mottos. Make sure to take time out of your life to do what you love. And it's crazy that I have to sit down here to film a video to tell you to do that. But that's how it's become these days. We're always so focused on, you know, SAT and testing and school and work and, you know, the things that we need to do to succeed in life. But aren't we, like, are you really succeeding in life if you're not doing something that makes you happy? My goal in life, I will not have a career one day that I'm not loving. Whatever I do one day will be something that I love so that I don't feel like I'm going to work every day. I feel like I'm doing something I love, something that I care about, something that I'm putting back into the world. So learn to get the things that are necessary to be done, to do those quicker and more efficiently so that you have more time to go take a dance class, to go play football, to go to an art museum with some friends. Like whatever makes your soul light on fire, whatever makes you so happy inside, take time to do those things. It only makes sense, but sometimes in these these days we don't think like that, which is crazy. I don't think like that half the time. These few things that make you so happy inside will relieve your stress and bring your stress levels down because 
you're doing something that makes you feel good. Next is a tip that I'm also saying to myself right now. So Danielle, listen. <laughs> Delegate. You don't have to do everything yourself. I'm someone that when I'm in one of those group projects, I'm like, okay, let me do this all. Like, I got this. Like, you know, and then I go home and I'm stressing out and I'm freaking out because no one's doing their part. But then I go home and I start to do this. I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, I can't do all this myself. Like, what the heck? But like, no one else is going to help me with anything. So then I try to do everything myself and then I stress myself out. And then it's just, it's a big, it's, then I freak out and I have a meltdown. It's just, it's not smart. My next tip is to talk it out with someone. There is nothing better than when I get in my car after school or after rehearsal or just a long day and I call up one of my best friends and I say, can I vent to you? And they say yes and it's my favorite thing. I literally just start talking and I'll tell them about my day or, you know, just literally just ramble. They don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Poor Joey. I call him on my way home in the car and, and I just, I talk for literally five minutes straight. I don't let him say anything. And then like, I finally just like, I go, <sighs> And then he's just like, well, <laughs> but it's okay because it just feels so good for me to say that. I, it just feels good to kind of talk it out with someone and then it kind of makes more sense. For me, when I start verbalizing things, I can start thinking of solutions. Honestly, just letting it out can help decrease the stress because you're, you're letting it out. <laughs> My next tip, I think I've talked about this in a previous video, but I wanted to say it again. Um, go outside. <laughs> I know in some places it's kind of cold out and it's not amazing to go outside right now and you'll probably freeze your booty off. I'm in Florida so it's not a big deal for me. But if you do have the opportunity just to go outside, if you're inside and you're just like working, 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 working for like hours or just even an hour and you're just like, your mind is getting like combobbled and you're just, you can't focus and you're just all over the place, go outside and I promise you, I'm always like, eh, like my mom will be like, go outside. I'm like, no. And then I go outside and I just sit on the dock or I go to a park for like even just ride my bike to a park and sit there for like five minutes, just hearing the birds, like hearing the nature, just like breathing, like feeling the breeze or whatever it is, it really refreshes you. The nature is a natural reliever of stress, I've learned. It's a new thing for me, but I've learned. So even just going for a walk and it can really bring you back to a really calm state and you can kind of refocus yourself. My last tip is one of my favorites. Um, when I get really, really stressed and I can't think about anything, and I can't focus, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, and I have a lot more energy. This is more of like a, not like a tired stress. This is more of like a, oh my gosh, I need to go to the gym, go work out, go do something active, because then you're letting out all these positive endorphins, so it's making you feel better, and you're just like, oh, I have so much to do. I'm going to run it off, and then you feel so good, you play intense trap music. Well, that's what I do, and I'm just like, ah, 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 and then like 20 minutes later, that's all you need, like 20 minutes, 10 minutes later even, I feel like a new person, like, all right, Let's go. I'm going to go back home. I'm going to do this work. I'm going to get this done. Boom, shakalaka. Because it like increases your um, heart rate. So then you're just like ready to like go. And you just, let's go. Let's go. So that really helps me um, to each his own. But even just doing like 10 jumping jacks, that'll do something for you. So that is all of the tips that I have for now. I'm always thinking of new ones. These are just the first ones that came to my head. And I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. So I opted for this option. Um, but I hope you guys found some sort of light, some sort of inspiration in this video. I tried to make it a very calm setup for you guys. I'm wearing my kimono. I feel so, I feel calm in a kimono. That doesn't make sense, but I just do, okay? But I just wanted to say I love you guys and know that you're not the only one going through crazy stress right now. There's a lot going on in the world in general. And life can get pretty, pretty dang crazy sometimes. So just remember to take time for yourself. Do what you love. Talk it out with someone work it out, go outside, whatever makes you feel good, any of those options, I really hope you guys take into consideration because I love you guys so much and I just want the world to just be a positive, happy, calm place and I think we can do that. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys once again. Uh, comment down below if you like videos like this and I will definitely do more. Um, but yeah, I know I already said this but I have to say it again. I love you guys incredibly much and I will see to all the viewers out there, I am giving away free ebook for the first 10,000 subscribers. Click the website below to get your free ebook. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you!